Habaye dey bat kajing kam ka sorkar MDA bakal alek shibun ka kam halor kajing penbeik put penbeik samar kejela asam. U VPP MLA na nong krem uba arden. Ula penrem jur ya ketei kajing kwa kiw skong ka sorkar MDA. Penban dah ke bapen iye ki sabut bahaus nem arajar kat san kajingnya penbeik yo put usam kalas dang. Badru dah kajing wad benia dah bun ki dipadmen baper baper. Las dang ban penyo iki map bat ki wei ki wei ki dokumen ki bae hap halor ke chin pen bait pot pen bait sam till 2018 so i have the experience sir, that this is not the only government that is concerned and serious in solving the border problem in fact i find that the government during my time was more transparent and more careful about dealing with this issue. They have been able to take everybody on board. There was an all-party meeting, and they have done a diligent work where they have documented the claim uh, made before the government of Assam. I, hear, I have with me here, sir, the presentation on issues relating to interstate boundary with Assam before the all-party meeting dated 29 July 2015. And here it includes, you know, there was a mention that the difference of an interstate boundary since it was there since the creation of Meghalaya as a separate state. So, and difference of inter-district boundary even during British and Assam time. Mention also was made that long outstanding issue cause of immense hardship, economic dislocation and breakdown of law and order in the affected areas. And in this document, it was also highlighted about the meetings of chief ministers held on the 5th of June 2010. And in this meeting, it was agreed into earlier that Meghalaya should present documents in support of its claim. Consequently, the government of Meghalaya has prepared this document and sent to the government of Assam. And before that, the then government has issued a public notice inviting documents, consultation with district council, DCs, etc., sir. Revenue Department prepared documents justification for each sector along with maps based on the supporting documents available. Having regard to constitutional provision, relevant notification and maps as well as historical, ethnic and linguistic link linkages. Sir, Chief Minister, I mean Chief Secretary <coughs> of Meghalaya handed over sector-wise document justification maps to Chief Secretary Assam to joint committee meeting held in a joint committee, I mean to say, held on 9-8-2011. See, <coughs> Chief Secretary of Assam <coughs> informed, DO dated 2nd 9-2011, examining the papers received and will take some time for completing pre preliminary secretary. Thereafter, Assam asked for topo sheet, maps and lists of villages for areas claimed by Meghalaya. And these were furnished on 17 second, uh, 2012. Sir, I just, uh, I would like to touch only those areas which, uh, six differences which MOU has been signed <coughs> between MDA government and uh, the counterpart Assam. When it comes to Taravari area, sir, here, according to the claim of Meghalaya, it was mentioned here that the area is 4.69 square kilometer. And mention also was made in this claim that this area was part of Rambrai steamship, taken over by British and made into Nonglang Sirship, sir. Order dated 22nd, 1879 of DC transferred the Sirship to KH Cassie and Gentle District land revenue to be deposited in that district. Therefore, sir, according to this claim, historical was part, historically, it was part of Kasi State, 1876, 
notification corroborates this. Sir. So, coming to Gizang forest area, this has a total area of 13.53 square kilometer, and the same claim has been made by the state government of Meghalaya. This area was part of Rambrai's aimship, order dated 20th 2nd, 1879 of DC transfer citizenship to K. Kasi and Gentil district. Ask Mosada to collect and deposit revenue in Shillong Treasury. <coughs> Historically, on the Kasi and Giant Hills notification of 1876. Number of villages in the area fall within 29 Mouthingkut District Council constituency. Map also has been supplied on this regard. Coming to the Hahim area, sir, the total area is 3.51 square kilometer. Again, historically, this area was part of Rambrai's aimship on the jurisdiction of Cassie and Giant Hills District, notification number 1430, dated 14 1876 Chief Commissioner asked 1877 DC Cassie and Giant Hills District to collect house tax of Nonglang Eleka. Issue of interpretation on ground of notification determined boundaries of Kamruk and United Cassie and Giant Hills. Nongriang Si citizenship and Nonglang citizenship on the constituency number 11 of District Council and later part of 29 Mountain Court constituency. 1961 census shows it is a part of Nongpo police station, area inhabited largely by local tribals. Atiyavari Lijadubi, part of 22nd Mountain Court assembly constituency, aspect electoral role of 1970. And a map also is attached in this claim, sir. So, coming to Bordua, this has an area of 147.83 square kilometer. Historically, on the Cassis Ames, taken over by British after Utirat Singh's revolt, census records of 1961-1971 show many villages on the non station of United Kasi and Gentiles district. Number of villages fall within constituency number 17 of Kasi and Giant Hills District Council as per 1951 delimitation, largely inhabited by local tribals. Map also has been attached in this regard. So, so coming to Buklapara, it has an area of 1.57 square kilometer. Historically, part of Mount Spung's aimship, ordered by secretary in political appeal. 20 of 1938 confirmed this. 1961-1971 census report shows that this area under Nongpo police station, largely inhabited by local tribals, part of constituency number 17 of Kasi and Giant Hills ADC as per delimitation of 1951. Part of constituency number 18 of Kasi and Giant Hills ADC as Bare delimitation of 1966 and part one of Jirang District Council constituency as per delimitation 1972. Map also was there. Kanapara Pilankata, it has an area of 2.25 square kilometer. Historically, part of Milliam's aimship, letter 1871 of DC Kambuk to DC. Kasi and Giant Hills boundary as a quest of expediency and Mahal rights remain with the aim of million. Further confirmed by letter of Deputy Superintendent Revenue Survey dated 512 1871 to DC's aims right not affected. Census record of 1961 and 1971 show number of villages on the Nongpo police station of United Kasi and Giant Hills district. Part of constituency number 17, Kasi and Giant JHADC as per delimitation of 1951. Part of constituency number 18 of KHADC as per delimitation of 1966. Part of one Jirang District Council constituency as per delimitation of 1972. So, this exercise, I can say, was done diligently. So to claim that MDA government is the only government that has done 
a marvelous work as far as the settlement of boundary issue, so I think it is not fair at all, sir. We must also give a credit to the previous government who have diligently compiled this document and placed before the Assam government. I don't know, though the present government, the MDA government, we know has constituted regional committees to go into the detail of settling the boundary in these six areas. Sir. But I don't know how many of you who claim, who praise your leadership, have ever seen or even read the report of the regional committees. As far as my information goes, sir, most of the recommendations of the regional committees have not been considered. And I don't know whether this is going to be a legal document or not, sir. Because the government is guided by rule. And there is a law, government of Meghalaya, law, a department, cabinet affairs department, rules of executive business of the government of the state of Meghalaya. And if we go according to the rule, so in para 11 and 12, here it is mentioned that orders or instruments made or executed by on be or on behalf of the government of the state of Meghalaya shall be expressed to be made or executed in the name of the governor. Orders or instruments of the government of the state shall be expressed to be made in the name of the governor and shall be signed either by the chief secretary, a principal secretary, commissioner and secretary, a secretary and an additional secretary, a joint secretary, a deputy secretary, an undersecretary or such other officer as may be authorized by the government and such signature shall be deemed to be the proper authorization of such other or <coughs> instrument. I think this instrument that is written here may also be called a kind of a memorandum of understanding that the two governments have entered upon. In this memorandum of understanding, we see that it is a Chief Minister of Assam and the Chief Minister of Meghalaya, who are the signatory on this MOU. So I don't know, sir, I leave to the wisdom of the government whether this MOU will stand in the court of law. Sir, and we used to hear a phrase, and that is exactly from our honorable deputy chief minister, that the government, the state government, will adopt a give and take policy. So here I've already read out, sir, the area claimed by the state government. And what happened in these six areas of differences? I don't see that there is, you know, apply a give and take policy, a phrase which was probably properly used by members of the Treasury bench. Sir, so in Gizang area, the total area is 13.53 square kilometer, and it goes 10.63 square kilometer to Assam. And Meghalaya is being able to retain with the rest of that area, sir. Sir, Buklapara, out of 1.57 square kilometer, Again, 1.01 square kilometer gone to Assam. Kanapara Pilankata area, area with 2.29 square kilometer, 1.7 square kilometer again has gone to Assam.